The spring has finally come to Iowa, and it is Monday of Passion Week, on the Monday before the Lord's crucifixion. He left Bethany in the morning and walked into Jerusalem with the disciples, and he came to the temple, where he found the temple courts full of money changers. And he cleansed out the temple by throwing out the money changers, overturning the, temp overturning the tables, and he said a combination of quotes from some Old Testament prophets, Isaiah chapter 56 and Jeremiah chapter 7. And he said, My house shall be called a house of prayer for all nations, but you have made it a den of thieves. Now those are two interesting quotes that he chose to use in regard to what was going on in the temple. What was happening and shouldn't be, and what wasn't happening that should. The Den of Thieves reference from Jeremiah chapter 7 is referring to a time when God said to his people, You are murderers, you are liars, you are adulterers, and you are thieves. And you think that by coming to my house, because it's called by my name, that you are safe. And so what you do is you do whatever you want, and then when you come to my house, you're treating it like a place where thieves go after they've robbed, a safe place where they hide in their cave, their den and plan out their next move and think they're safe there from detection. And meanwhile, they just go out and do it again. And he said, that's what you've turned my house into, a place that you think you can come in, in between your lying, your thieving, your murdering, your adultery, and all of your sinfulness. You think that by coming to my house and being called in my name that you are safe, but you are wrong. And that was the message that Jesus had for the people there when he said, You've made it a den of robbers. He wanted them to realize that it is not okay to live however you want and think that by coming into God's house that you are safe. The second part of the quote that he used was, My house should be called a house of prayer for all nations. And that reference in Isaiah is referring to when God said to some people who previously had not been allowed into the temple courts, He said to them, You say that because you are a eunuch, or because you're a foreigner that you cannot be one of God's people. And he says, but my house will be a house of prayer for all nations. And Jesus, when he used that quote, it's interesting what happens right after he cleanses the temple. It says that there came to him in the temple the blind and the deaf and little children. You know, these are people who were not allowed to be in the temple. But what's amazing is once got rid of, once Jesus moved out those who were using it only for their own purposes, there was room for those who previously had been excluded. So today, on Monday of Passion Week, let's think about this. In our temples, whether it's a building in which you, you worship, or even more importantly, the temple of God that is within your heart, is it a place where you are using as a house of prayer for all people? Is there anyone that is excluded from your temple? I sure hope not. But also, we need to look at our temple and say, is this a place where we think we are safe just because it's called by His name? Do you think that just because you take the name of Christian, that God has accepted who you are and everything you do? This passage of the Den of Robbers would indicate that that is not always the case. And we must be evaluate ourselves to see if Jesus were to look at our temple today, on Monday of this Passion Week, would he say it's a house of prayer for all nations, or would he say it's a den of robbers? It's really up to us to decide what kind of history we'll make. Now all this week we'll be doing Passion Week stories, and I hope that you are taking time this week to reserve some time to observe the, the time on the church calendar when we take advantage of just pulling some time away to contemplate what the Lord has done for us in history. I see you tomorrow.